on WCIA 3 News. A firefighter could face charges for something he's accused of doing while off duty. Find out what police say he did. And one person was stabbed in Champaign this afternoon. We'll tell you who police arrested for the crime. Factory workers in Danville went on strike. Hear what they say the company is forcing them to do and what workers are demanding of them instead. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 9 on X49. It's not an issue. It's come up a great deal. We have great first responders here. An off-duty firefighter is accused of jumping into an ambulance without permission and turning on the emergency flashers. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Jensen. Jessica has the night off. The Coles County State's Attorney is now waiting for a report from police about vehicle trespassing. WCIA 3's Jen Lask spoke to the attorney about the case. Jen, what did they tell you? The state's attorney, Jesse Danley, says Mattoon Police Chief Jason Taylor spoke to him about the case this week. Mitchell Jordan Ambulance Service told me on May 21st a person got into one of their ambulances outside Harbor Freight in Mattoon and turned on the emergency flashers. The suspect, Charleston firefighter Matt McDonald, has been told he'll need to appear in court. Danley says he's waiting for Taylor to send him the police report so he can figure out possible charges. He has to be treated like everyone else. Um, so, but it's, it's definitely something that comes to my attention. You're here. So it's something that uh, the public deems news, newsworthy and uh, you know, we'll treat it like any other misdemeanor case. Mitchell Jordan responded in part saying, we consider trespass to one of our vehicles a serious matter. The ambulances are equipped with medical equipment and supplies necessary to provide emergency medical treatment. I reached out to the Charleston Fire Department about the issue, but Assistant Chief Tim Meister said the department does not comment on issues involving personnel. Live in the newsroom, Jen Lask, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Jen, thank you for that report. One man was arrested after a stabbing on Green Street this afternoon. It happened just before 3.30 in front of McDonald's between 6th and Wright Street in Champaign. A 42-year-old man was stabbed in the back. He was taken to the hospital but is expected to be okay. 66-year-old Jerry Webb was arrested. He is charged with aggravated battery. On the eighth day of Brent Christensen's trial, his ex-wife took the stand. Christensen is charged with kidnapping and killing of UI scholar Yingying Zhang two years ago. His lawyers have said he did it. WCIA 3's Aaron Eads has more from Peoria, where that trial is taking place. Brent Christensen's ex-wife Michelle was on the witness stand today. She says she didn't want to be testifying, but she still cares about Brent. She says they met working as cashiers at Kmart in Wisconsin, later moving to Illinois so Brent could go to grad school. Michelle detailed his alcohol abuse and its effect on their marriage, saying that when she decided to open the relationship so she could date another man she met at work, he seemed to accept it. Michelle says he got upset when she told him she was going on a weekend trip with that man. That was only a few days before Zhang disappeared. Michelle says when she got back the following Monday, the apartment looked and smelled normal. During cross-examination, Assistant U.S. Attorney Eugene Miller had Michelle testify that after the relationship was opened, she started to become leery of him and wouldn't sleep in the same bedroom, and that when she got back from the trip, Brent told her a blood stain on the mattress was from a nosebleed he got. The defense also called the testimony of another witness into question today in Peoria. Aaron Eads, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Both the government and the defense have rested their case. Closing arguments are scheduled for Monday morning. Police are investigating after a woman in Springfield was found dead in Chatham last night. 48-year-old Jeannie Hansen was found in a wooded area near 125 East Plummer. Her husband called police when she didn't come home after work or answer her phone. An autopsy this morning determined there were no signs she was hurt by another person. More test results are pending. This is a follow-up from your news leader. Workers at a factory in Danville went on strike this morning. The union employees at Visco Fan Meat, Meat Casing have been in contract negotiations since January. They say the company hasn't proposed pay increases for the next year. They also say the company is forcing workers to come in early for mandatory overtime. The union is calling for contracts that strengthen pay and support families. This strike was to show they want change.
I hope they realize how much they need us. I hope they see that it's not all easy bees in there working on those machines, working in those chemicals, inhaling all of those fumes. We deserve more than this. We deserve better. I hope that they come back to the table and they will look at the contract they gave us, their last, best, and final, and that they will revise it and give <coughs> us something that we can live with. They have another meeting with the company scheduled for the end of the month. Viscofan issued a statement saying, quote, we are disappointed that the offer was rejected by the union. We hope that this labor dispute will be short-lived. Meanwhile, the company has implemented its contingency plan to keep serving the market. Up next, we'll tell you about storms causing major damage across the nation and what the U.S. is doing to stop illegal immigration at the border. And today's Almanac shows a high temperature of 76 degrees, running well below average for this time of the year. Stormy evening out there for some earlier. We've got even more rain coming in overnight, and we'll talk about the severe weather threat as well for the next couple of days. But first, it's time for your weather quiz. Which one of these is not a day the summer solstice will occur on in the Northern Hemisphere? We'll have the correct answer in your forecast coming up. More people are switching to Ram than ever before because Ram gives you more towing, more luxury, more legroom and more deals with up to 20% off MSRP and America's most awarded pickup. The all new Ram 1500. Hurry in for big deals during Ram Truck Month. Now get 20% off MSRP on select all new 2019 Ram 1500 models in dealer stock. everything but temptation. Tempting Tuesday's half-price deals are irresistible. This week's deal comes from Roadway Inn in Urbana. Go ahead, go wild. Tempting Tuesdays on WCIA.com. Hill damage, fender bender, or an unfortunate run-in with a deer? Todd's Auto Body can fix your vehicle right up. Our dent repair experts will make your car look as good as new. Todd's Auto Body in our town, Tilton. This is not a bed. It's a revolution in sleep. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed is on sale now during our lowest prices of the season. It senses your movement and automatically adjusts to keep you both comfortable. It even helps with this. So you wake up ready to hit the ground running. Only at a Sleep Number store. It's the lowest prices of the season. The Queen Sleep Number 360 C4 Smart Bed is now $12.99. Save $400. Only for a limited time. Sleep Number. Proven quality sleep. With BNB Construction in Tilton. We're your one stop shop for all construction, roofing, siding, concrete, and gutter needs. Stop into our showroom to see what we can do for you. It's with BNB Construction in Tilton. Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Kevin Lighty. All right, let's start off today with our viewer picture. Uh, this is a good one here. This is actually from Effingham. Take a look at this as that shelf cloud was moving across the sky. Pretty cool shot there. Raylene Reedy sending over that photo to us. All right, fast forward watch in effect here tonight. As you can see, our counties down here south of I-72 because over the next several days, two to three inches of additional rainfall is going to be possible. Okay, so that could lead to more flooding out there, so be aware. Things are calm now. We had the storms come through earlier this afternoon. All of this evening, though, really has been uh, dry, but now we're watching out here to the west. Here comes our next round. We're expecting these storms to really kind of fire up. Take a look at the future track here. Midnight, 1, 2 a.m., here it comes. Jacksonville, Springfield, Taylorville, Lincoln, down to Decatur, Effingham, and Mattoon. I think you guys get some of this rain and thunderstorm activity, but then it clears out. And things look pretty good for us during the day on Saturday. Now, temperatures tonight are in the mid-60s. That's pretty much where we're going to be here as we head into tomorrow morning. Just hovering those mid-60s all the way into tomorrow 
uh, late morning hours there. And look at this, sunshine, future track, looks good, but late tomorrow night, here comes the next round. We're talking about Saturday night into early Sunday morning, some more showers, some more thunderstorms, could see a couple different rounds move through the area throughout the day on Sunday. And yes, severe weather is a possibility. Uh, let's look at tomorrow. High temperatures topping out in the mid 80s. It's going to be very warm out there. You can see on the future track or on the uh, Storm Prediction Center Outlook map that we're under the slight risk. So we've had that the past few days. We're going to do it again. Could have a strong storm in there. Sunday's risk is marginal, but still the threat will be there. Here's the heat. Here's the humidity coming our way for the weekend. We're talking about the mid 80s for highs, but because the humidity that we're going to have combined with this, it's going to make it feel like probably the mid 90s out there, maybe in a few spots with the dew point up there into the 70s. So could feel pretty warm out there on Saturday and Sunday. All right, your code word of the day is ISO. Drosotherm. That is a look at the word that you can use. Three day forecast, you can see that temperatures are going to be into the mid 80s for highs with more rain coming at us as we head into the day on Monday. All right, weather quiz question. Here we go. Which one of these is not a day the summer solstice will occur on in the northern hemisphere? June 20th, 21st, 22nd, or 23rd? I have no idea. What? I have no, no idea. No, I'm stumped. You don't know? Mm. Mm. What, well, we'll see. Well, you can narrow this down because what's today? The 21st. And today is the summer solstice, if you didn't know that. So would it have been yesterday? A. You're going to say A? I was just a shot in the dark. I have no idea. <laughs> June 23rd. Ugh, way off. Way off. <laughs> it's okay. I tried. I gave it a shot, but, you know, we'll get them next time. Yep. All right, next up, we asked you to share your day with us this rainy Friday. So let's go to the first pick here. Marvin Personette. Uh, he wasn't bothered by the rain whatsoever. That is a picture of him fishing out there. How fun. Wow, right on. And yeah. uh, let's see what's else, what else we got here. Got Nancy Plank. Yes, that's her last name, and she's in the gym. How fitting. Hit the gym. There you go. Good thing to do when it's gloomy outside. Sure is. Go to the gym. That's where I'll be headed next. There you go. And then Barbara Schweitzer spent some quality time with her grandson. What a great way to start the weekend. Happy weekend to you. Let's go <laughs> to the gym. All right. Well, we'll have a look at your national headlines coming up next. My partner was in a nursing home, came in one afternoon, he was laying dead on the floor. For unexplained nursing home injuries, or even death, Mom and Law is there for you. That's what I wanted, was that expertise. They were wonderful. Call 888-MOM-AND-LAW. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World in Champaign, we'll beat any competitor's deal. We'll beat any competitor's deal on refrigerators and freezers, and washers and dryers, and ranges, and microwaves, and dishwashers. I guarantee the best deal on your next appliance purchase. Angela's trying to decide to get this GE side-by-side -side refrigerator from Dick Van Dyke or the Big Lumberyard store. Dick Van Dyke has fast repair service. They don't. A free 10-year protection plan. They don't. After delivery and warranty, we'll save her $91. She's buying from Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Some see trails as only muddy paths, steep climbs, and rough terrain. But in the redesigned Jeep Cherokee, your trail can lead anywhere. See where your trail leads at the Jeep Celebration event. Now get 3,500 combined cash allowance plus 1,000 bonus cash on select 2019 Cherokee models at dealer stock. Keep our community strong when you shop local. At Illini Mattress, we are dedicated to going above and beyond for our clients. And we have all of the great products and payment options as the big chain stores. We are proud to carry products made in the USA, and we run our business with old-fashioned customer service. Support your community as well as local charities simply by shopping with us. Visit us at family-owned Illini Mattress for your best sleep. When your loved one in a nursing home is suffering from an unexplained injury, you need answers. You need mom and law. We'll discover the truth and fight for the compensation you deserve. Call 888-MOM-IN-LAW for a free consultation. Mom and law Live from WCIX 49.
This is your local news leader with Jessica Coons, meteorologist Kevin Leifey, and Central Illinois' most accurate forecast. You're watching WCIA 3 News at 9 on X49. The governor of Texas announced the state will deploy 1,000 Texas National Guard troops. It's to assist the Department of Homeland Security and Border Patrol with the escalating humanitarian crisis at the southern border. Governor Greg Abbott says in the past three weeks alone, more than 45,000 individuals from 52 different countries have been arrested illegally crossing the border into Texas. He says this is to keep potentially dangerous criminals and illegal activities activity out of the communities. In the coming weeks, DHS will establish holding facilities in the Rio Grande Valley and El Paso for single adults entering the country illegally. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi held a bill enrollment ceremony for the Taxpayer First Act today. Lawmakers say this act is a major achievement for underserved communities and people with disabilities. It protects them from debt collectors and helps to prepare their tax returns. The bill also includes steps to pinpoint and protect people from identity theft. A fire in Moreno Valley in California is now more than 500 acres and at last checked 0% contained. The flames broke out around 1 o'clock in the area of Gilman Springs Road and Jerry Street near the Moreno Valley Freeway. There are some homes in that area, but it appears that the fire crews are doing a good job at keeping them safe. And Illinois isn't the only state getting hit by storms. Southwest Minnesota saw heavy rain, hail, and a tornado that damaged farms along the way. Nobody was hurt when the severe weather swept through Redwood, Brown, and Wadawan counties Thursday night. Officials say a large turkey barn near uh, St. James was badly damaged. Heavy rain flooded the streets, and baseball-sized hail also fell in parts of the region. When a woman's heart stopped, people came to her rescue and helped to save her life. We'll share the heroic and heartfelt story coming up after this break. You've heard Lincoln's story, but have you experienced it? Step back in time at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum Immerse yourself into Lincoln's world through state-of-the-art special effects and displays that bring the history and legacy of our 16th president to you. The Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, located in Springfield, Illinois. Share your morning with us and you could win. Take a photo of your morning, post it to WCIA.com, and it could be seen right here on the 9 a.m. morning show. Plus, every Friday, three lucky winners are going to win a mug from us at WCIA and Carriage Crossing. Morning Mug Club, sponsored by Carriage Crossing. Pontiac RV's annual summer RV sale and open house is June 21st through 23rd. Check our huge selection of new and pre-owned RVs all on sale. You'll save on new travel trailers and fifth wheels from Highland Ridge, Coachman, Keystone RV, and more. Plus extra discounts on new motorhomes from Forest River, Thor, and Tiffin Motorhomes. Pontiac RV on Interstate 55 at exit 201 in Pontiac. My dad proudly served his country. Oh, thank you. He did a lot of hard stuff. Hi, you guys. Good to see so you. So I wanted to make his life easy with the Jitterbug Flip. It's got big buttons and a large, bright screen. And after his recent fall, I know Great Call has his back. One touch immediately connects him to five-star agents who will get him help in any emergency, big or small. Who's the old guy? Oh, it's me. That's you. <laughs> Plans start as low as $14.99 a month and get 25% off at Best Buy or Rite Aid. The news continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. A life was saved thanks to some guardian angels. Fewer than 500 people live in Beecher City, Illinois. Locals say it's like your average small town, but one day in April was anything but average for Allison Buzzard. WCIA 3's Andy Olson tells the story. Tuesday, April 9th was just another day for Allison Buzzard before. I came back, I spoke with my mother-in-law, Lisa, and then I sat down to rest before I went to do my daily workout downstairs. 
That is the last thing I remember for the next three days. Allison's heart stopped beating due to sudden cardiac arrest syndrome, or... Uh, another name for it is sudden cardiac death. 95% of all people that suffer SCD die, but thanks to the quick thinking of her children, Allison beat the odds. We heard a thud in the living room. So my sister and I, we both met at our doors, our bedrooms are side by side, and um, we came running out here and saw mom laying on the floor. Renee Buzzard administered CPR before Tri-County Fire District and emergency services were able to restart Allison's heart and take her to a local hospital, where she woke up later that night. We have an all-volunteer fire department, so everyone that came here that day stopped what they were doing. They stopped their jobs. They stopped their day. Incredibly, Renee wasn't even supposed to be home. And I got off of school early that day. There was no reason. My principal just told seniors, go home. 1 p.m. told us to get out of school. There was no reason we needed to be there. I'm obviously eternally grateful that they were both here that day because I would not have been. I would not be here had it not been for the children. Buzzard has one follow-up test left before doctors clear her heart of any danger. She recently enjoyed watching her daughter cross the stage as she graduated high school last month. Not all heroes wear capes. In fact, some might even smell like garbage. But for one boy in Champagne, that doesn't bother him. Carter's hero is a garbage man yeah. named Tyson. Carter's mom says he has always had a fascination with trucks. Every time he hears the garbage man's truck, he runs to the window and waves. Yesterday, he got in on the action. Carter was able to sit in the driver's seat and hang out with his hero. Tyson has even, you know, said to me yesterday when we actually got to go up and meet his hero, his real life hero, that, you know, it makes his morning just as much fun, you know, to see a smiling kid at 7 a.m. in the morning every Thursday with his garbage truck anxiously waiting. As you can see, Carter has his own vest like Tyson, and his mom says even Carter's first word was truck. That is adorable. Coming up next, we'll be talking about dogs and yoga and why people across the U.S. are celebrating both of them. Summer's here. Time to hit the road. Join us for a statewide road trip to amazing family destinations just to take gas away. This is Cloverlawn, a Victorian mansion owned by a man who sort of gave Illinois its motto. Thursday on WCIA 3 News at 6. You don't have to walk through the pain. Dr. Ike Meyer is here with over 25 years experience to help you keep enjoying the simple pleasures of leisure everyday activity. No matter what brings you through the door, Dr. Ike Meyer's team will put their skills and knowledge where you need it most, your feet. Offering services from infants to seniors for heel pain, sports injury, diabetic foot care, custom shoe inserts, and many other innovative treatments. Let us ease your pain and get you back to your best foot health at Eichmeyer Foot and Ankle Clinic. Now located on 411 Devonshire Drive in Champaign. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. What a comfort we have in this passage. As the Lord is telling Jeremiah, I care for you and I will take care of you. If you are in despair and think you have no hope, pray to the Lord and ask him for his blessings, guidance, and protection. See how your life can be changed and the lives of those around you. This message brought to you by the Blossom Basket Florist. From the odd to the impossible, Carnegie Towing and Repair has been delivering quality and affordable towing and auto repair for over 95 years. We're always there 24 hours, 7 days a week. One call does it all at Carnegie Towing and Repair. Hey, it's Jay, here to help you find the best deals at Jackson Ford in Decatur. It's no secret, we've got a huge selection of new Fords and pre-owned vehicles and the lowest prices around. Check out our entire selection at jacksoncars.com. Visit one of Adams Memorial's 14 locations for your personalized custom needs. 
This is WCIA 3 News, your local news leader. It's an American dream. Talk about having your best furry friend next to you while you're hard at work in the office. Today was your chance. It's take your dog to work day. Now, not all workplaces will allow it, but if your office says it's okay, like us here at WCIA, I hope you're taking full advantage. Take your dog to work day is celebrated the Friday after Father's Day every single year. And across the globe, India celebrated International Yoga Day yesterday. Indian Prime minister and longtime yoga practitioner Narendra Modi led about 50,000 volunteers through a series of yoga asanas to celebrate the 67 year old leader who lobbied for international recognition of yoga day in 2014 landed in Dehradun late Wednesday but was up early to take his position on a bright orange yoga mat we'll have a final check of your forecast coming up after this Outer Apparel on WCIA3 News, provided by L.L. Bean. Alto Vineyards in Champaign is sharing their secret. A local getaway yet far enough away to escape your day. Nothing beats a great glass of wine with friends. Browse the tasting room, sip award-winning wines, or book your event. Enjoy life at Alto Vineyards in Champaign. I would recommend Beltone hearing aids to any of my family or friends. I have recommended them to a couple different people who ended up buying Beltone, and they were very satisfied with their Beltone hearing aids. One of the things I like about my new Beltone hearing aids is the fact that I can control them with my phone. I can adjust the volume between each individual ear or together, set settings for restaurants. The Bluetooth app on them works great. I can hear them in my tractor. I can hear them in my combine. Clarity is just very good. Blackie's Heating and Cooling has been a proud member of the Our Town Tilton community since 1926. We've been committed to our customer satisfaction for four generations and will continue that tradition for generations to come. Blackie's Heating and Cooling is your local Amana dealer. Let's get down to business. The business of getting it done. The business of road trips. The business of getting everyone back together. The business of hustle and hard work and whatever this is. Modernized Comfort Inns and Suites have been refreshed because whatever business you're in, our business is you. Book direct at choicehotels.com. Concerned about a loved one's treatment in a nursing home or assisted living? They told me he had a heart attack. In reality, he choked to death. My father was brought to a nursing home. He fell. They thought he wouldn't survive the night. I made a big mistake. Your loved one is not supposed to be harmed in any way. And Steve Mallman and his uh, law firm, they were wonderful. We are totally satisfied with uh, the way we are being treated. I would recommend them to any friends or family. Your lawyers need to be this good. Mallman Law. Scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area just starting to pop up. Take a look at that uh, cell down there, uh, just kind of developing there into portions of uh, Christian County. That's the beginning of what will be additional storms that are going to fire as we get into tonight. So there's another round. We've had a nice little break here this evening, but more storms here over the next several hours get going. So your forecast for tonight, well, it's a low of 66 degrees, mostly cloudy. We'll see temperatures down into the mid 60s for overnight lows tomorrow, a high around. 85 degrees with uh, some more morning storms around the area and then we'll catch a break during the day before some evening storms uh, begin to creep back up again and it's going to get really warm tomorrow with those uh, humidity values. Might, might be a bad hair day. Rain, rain, go away. It's already a bad hair day for me. You've been out in the rain I today? I was out in the rain all day oh. today before I came here. Oh. What a bummer. Wow. Working hard. Always. What's new? All right, well, thank you for joining us here tonight on WCIX. Make sure to tune in on WCIA for the news at 10. We'll see you there.